watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. So we're going to be taking a look at a knife today from Rough Rider. And this is the Orange Smooth Bone Canoe. I do not have a box for this particular one. That came to me without. But we have looked it up and it's model number RR046. This is the Orange Smooth Bone Canoe uh, in the standard closed length of three and five eighths inches. You've got brass pins along with that beautiful orange smooth bone handle. Nickel silver bolsters. And of course with any of these canoes that you buy, you're going to have this raised bolster here that covers the elbows of the blades or the point of the blades. You can see it's covering the elbow of the rear blade. And on this side, the main blade designed that way to eliminate any rough edges along the profile of the top of the blade fits well into the pocket no snags slides smoothly in there great design well refined one of the reasons I really like the canoe but this one is really well constructed. You can see there's no raised pins here. The bolsters are flush to the bolt, the handle. And if you look at the bottom, we have pretty well constructed springs and liners. It's a little bit of stepping here and you do see that little bit of a dark area where I think that's adhesive there coming out of the side, but all in all, for you know, like a when you bought it new, I think twelve dollars knife. Now that today's money, that would probably be more like sixteen or fifteen dollars for the canoe now. So at the time, you know, it was about twelve dollars. Inflation has really been kicking butt lately, and making even just these budget knives get a little more pricey. But for what I paid uh, on eBay, still feel it's a budget knife. I think I ran it, paid around sixteen dollars for this. So, yeah, I would expect to pay a little more than the twelve dollars that it would have cost you when they first came out. But they're very well made. You can see here on this side the same thing. No raised pins. Bolsters line up well with the handle material. We don't have any gaps there, so it's really it's been been really well made. Um, pretty happy with all the the build on it, and you get a close look at that bone material. You can just see the transitions in the color there. Pretty nice. So let's look at the blade. The first blade is the main blade. We have a walk and talk here. I'd save about a five and a half. Get a good snap on the close. So it's a little bit of a bonus. But it is a little light to come out halfway. And it gets a little stiffer as you go the last 90 degrees. The blade is a spear point. Mirror finish. Nail nick. Just your standard style without any match strike on it. Any kind of ribbing on it, just a standard pull. And a good look at your blade edge there. Across the width is not perfect. It's a little wider towards the belly of the blade. Tang stamp here is the script design. It's a pretty good indication this is an older one. Rough Rider, written with the eye. And then it just says stainless steel on the, the bottom there. Opposite side of the blade. Again, the blade edge, pretty similar to the other side where you get a little more taken off there at the belly of it. No tank stamp on this side, but you do get China here written with an etch. So we do know it is indeed made in China. And I'm guessing this is 440A stainless steel though it doesn't say so, like all, many of the other blades do. Uh, generally they're etched with 440 razor sharp steel. 
this one is not so I just have to assume it is the same now if we measure this main blade that's a nice length of two and five eighths so it should be UK legal no problem there and the cutting edge is about two and a quarter inches canoe is a really good design for anyone in the UK manual carry no lock blades under three inches here we have the secondary blade and its pull is not quite as good as the first maybe about a five and it doesn't quite have that snap on the close you can kind of tell it's a little bit a little bit lazy on the snap I have cleaned this and it didn't really improve so I'm just gonna have to say that uh, that's the way it was made but still plenty enough resistance while you're using it especially with the smaller blade so no worries there not feeling like I'm gonna cut myself or this is a dangerous knife or anything like that just doesn't have quite the uh, aesthetic snap that you're maybe accustomed to on some of the other Rough Rider knives but you do get a decent little snap at the close there even though there is a little bit of a play in the lazy half stop there it does come close really nicely at the end and we're all just pretty well made again the thing I like about the canoes are the profile and the just the classiness of this style knife when we don't have any kind of shield or any kind of uh, obstruction on the bolster any kind of design just simplicity at its best and it really draws out the lines of this knife and this nice uh, sort of auburn color I wouldn't really call it an orange so much certainly not like the fluorescent type orange that you're used to seeing on knives you know to keep you from losing them in the woods and such this is much more uh, a brownish color a little bit more classically styled obviously for a traditional knife so it is a uh, a knife that they don't really make anymore uh, you know Rough Riders may be kind of going back to this but uh, this is kind of the design that they went away from from a long time and I think it's more or less what many people many Rough Rider collectors anyway want Rough Rider to go back to just a very basic simple design that uh, that doesn't try to overdo anything with uh, a lot of billboarding and blade etches and just swedges and match strike poles all this other extra stuff that they've added on that doesn't really improve the quality of the knife in many ways and sometimes it just kind of goes over the top so this is sort of the best back to basics design and I like that about this knife again the model number is RR046 and this cost me uh, sixteen dollars before shipping so you may be able to find one on eBay or elsewhere but uh, they're still out there and uh, I really liked that uh, this one did not have a shield uh, I believe they are versions out there that do have a shield uh, though I couldn't come up with a photo to to provide you guys uh, there is evidence that that does exist but this one no shield but that's going to do it for my review guys i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop we will see you next time please do take care